Hi there. We may have met, we may not have met, but my name is Kathy Barker and I'm from Software Solutions. I'm a software teacher or a software developer or a software specialist and I've been doing it for nearly 40 years. Now one of the programs that I've been teaching and supporting since its release is Microsoft Project. And I teach Microsoft Project to a number of planners and schedulers and construction managers and project managers from a number of organisations around New Zealand, whether it's OG Fibre Solution or ABB or Carters or Heb Construction or Fulton Hogan or WSB. There's quite a variety of companies that I teach and a variety of people. And one of the things I keep stressing is the need for templates. And so I've created this video as a dedication to this topic. How in Microsoft Project do you create a 24-7 project template? So it makes those types of projects quick and easy to manage because you create a project using the 24-7 project template. So stay with me and let me show you how you can do this and save yourself a lot of time in Microsoft Project. Step one, project information. For this, I'm going to ask you to go to project in the ribbon and choose project information. It is in here that we say what date and time we want to start the project. At the moment, I only see a date. I need to see a date and a time. So cancel. Go into file, go into options, and in this general section, change the date format to the first listed option, which includes a time. Choose OK, go to Project, go to Project Information, and let's say we're going to start this 24-7 project this coming Monday, whatever that may be, at 7am. So I'll choose the coming Monday, and you just choose your coming Monday, and I'll change it from 8 to 7. Whatever the date and type format is there, do not wipe it out and re-enter it. Stick with the format that you have by default, which may differ from mine. Whatever your date and time format is, simply modify it so it's 7 a.m. and it's this coming Monday. That's the first thing I want to do, is this is a start date driven project and that's when we're starting. The next thing I want to do is change it from a standard calendar to a 24 hour calendar. This project is dedicated to creating a 24 hour project template, so we need 24 hours. And so choose OK. That is step one. Step two, file properties. All right, go to file, go to info. On the right, you'll see project information. It looks like a heading, it's not, it's a button. Click project information and go into advanced properties. Move this into here. The title of the project, completely up to you. What I like to do is I like to say, this is a 24 hour project, colon, Please enter job number here. That's what's going to show as the title. The subject is shut down. The author is myself. The manager is myself. And the company is Software Solutions. You put your own company, your own manager, your own author, and however you want them to fill in the title which is going to be on a project by project basis, but I want to give them a prompt. So I'm going to go OK, and I'm going to go back out of here, and that's step two. Step three, the project calendar. Go into project, go into change working time. It is in here that you can view and potentially change the project calendar. In the first um, step, we actually set the calendar using project information, this button here, to a 24 hour calendar. This is then reinforced or reiterated up here in change working time. You do have the option to have a change of heart and change your mind at this point, but I really would just stick with what you chose as the project calendar and project information. You can see here we're basically working, that's why these white is used for these days. We're working seven days and over here we're working from midnight to midnight. So that's perfect. That's what you want for a 24-7 project template. But the trap for young players is despite the fact that this is perfect, what's in the options button 
may not balance with what you've got in here. When you click the options button, the start time must be 12 a.m. The end time must be 12 a.m. And the number of days you work a week must be seven. So they have to balance. And my money is on the fact that they probably don't. So go into options and fix these settings so that they balance with these settings. Otherwise, project will ignore these and work with these settings. So I'm going to set my start time to 12 midnight my end time to 12 midnight. I work um, hours per day, 24. And hours per weight is 168, 24 times 7. So make sure that those 1, 2, 3, 4 options are correct. Do not worry about the days per month. And sometimes you need to change this to Monday if you want your working week to start on a Monday. I'll bring this back into view, go OK. So you must do that. Check this is 24 hours, check the options button is correct, and go OK. Now having done that, I would now customise or manage my time scale. Now your time scale is the name given to this panel across the top of what is effectively your Gantt chart. Double click the time scale. When you double click the time scale, this window comes up. Now the thing that bothers me is that if this is a 24-7 shutdown or a 24-7 template, we should not be seeing vertical grey bars here effectively saying that we don't work Saturday and Sunday. Where clearly we've just said we have a 24 hour calendar and we do work Saturday and Sunday. So these non-working times are managed here. I would say do not draw them because they're a fallacy. That's rubbish. So do not draw and OK. And now you can see your Gantt shows that you are literally working Monday to Sunday, midnight to midnight, starting the coming Monday at 7 a.m. All right, now let's double click the time scale because there's some other changes I want to make. Not only have we managed the non working time and that we said do not draw it, but now I want to manage the tiers. There's a bottom tier and a middle tier. Because we've chosen here two tiers, we see a bottom tier showing MTW, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and a middle tier saying the 8th of May. So each week is shown in the middle tier. Starting with the bottom tier, I want to take the size down. 100 is over the top. I want to double the amount of detail I can see on my screen, and I want to double the amount of detail if I print, that I can print onto a piece of A4. And that is achieved by taking this down to probably 50% or 55%. You can see a preview here. 50% is still quite readable. And if I go OK, I will see twice as much on my screen and effectively print twice as much. So consider that for your template as well. All right, double click it again. So in our template, we've decided non-working time is not to be drawn because we work 24-7, seven, seven days a week. The bottom tier is to be 50%, or the whole thing is actually to be 50%, so we can see twice as much on the screen. Now the middle tier shows weeks, 15th May, 22nd May, or whatever dates you have. Can we please make those centred? So I'm going to choose the option centre, and you see them shift as a consequence. And now I want to take our time scale from two tiers to three tiers. By choosing three tiers, I now have this top tier that I can work with, and that's managed using the top tier tab here. Now the top tier, I also want it to be weeks, and I also want them centered, but I want them labeled quite differently. I want to see in my label, week one, week two from start, this option here. So you have a variety of ways that you can customize your time scale, and this is one of my favorites. Week one, week two, week three, week four is in my top tier. My middle tier is weeks also, but labeled differently. My bottom tier are days of the week, one day at a time, labeled accordingly. And my non-working time is not showing. So when I go OK, I've completely customized my time scale. So that is what I would highly recommend you do as well. Now, this whole video is about creating a template. So now I want to start saving this as a template so I don't lose what I've done so far. One of my favorite shortcut keys is F12. F12, the function key, is save as. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or if you're not into function keys, go up to your quick access toolbar, 
customise the quick access toolbar to include a save as button because it's something we use so regularly. We often save a project as version 1, version 2, version 3. Now click the button or press F12 and can you please save this as not a project, which is the type here, but instead as a project template, which is the third option listed. Be careful not to choose the second option. Choose project template and I'm going to put it on the desktop so I can find it easily. And I'm going to call it my 24 hour project template. And when I go save, it literally saves it as a project template. Now at this point it's asking, do you also want to include in your template the resource rates, the fixed costs? We are going to add those to our template, but we're not there yet. So just go save. We've saved our template, which is brilliant. I want to continue to add stuff to my template, so I'll see you soon.